All right. They're ready. Uh, WRD does not seem ready. Okay, there we go. They're both ready. All right, here we go. All right. Three, two, one. Go! All right, here they go. They're going to go. Got WRD's audio first. All right. I'll be back in just a jiffy, guys. Very fast. I'm just eating a quick lunch, guys. I'll be right back. Just a quick lunch. Thank you. 
I am back, and this race has already had some crazy things going. The the mode of tears for WRD, but Teeks also not getting the spade card, 10 bucks. So I'm wondering if he's gonna have to go back inside and try and go for it. Neither runner has done Hammer Brother. WRD again fell in the mode of tears and taking damage. And now Teeks is on Red Rocket Strats. It's been, it's been literally like 30 seconds since I've eaten my lunch and I've already, I already regret it. Alright, Teeks has not fought a Hammer Brother yet and I don't think WRD has either. Without a death, there's no way to fight him before. WRD going for the red rocket. Nice, and he does get it. Very nice. Teeks going for backwards, bro. That's good to see. You like to see it. Yeah, he does not want to go 2 4, man. 2 4 is way too scary in this. Unfortunately, WRD. Lost his Fire Flower. That's going to be pretty big later on. But let's see if Teeks goes for the Spade Card game here. Let's see if Teeks goes for Spade Spade Card game here. Is he going to go back for it? Oh, no! What the heck was that? I was scared there for a minute. So, did both Teeks' Hammer Brothers go backwards? <clears throat> yeah, both of them went backwards. That's good RNG point. Unfortunately, WRDs went forward. That is not going to cut it. So WRD needs to keep getting thrown jumps really badly. Uh, WRD got both got a forward and a backwards, unfortunately. Teeks is not going for the 10 bucks point. I'm not sure how I feel about that decision. And WRD is behind by a solid level here. Uh, he's gonna have to make up the time loss in points. He is not going to be able to get moving backwards, so we're moving on to World 3, baby. Yeah, I think Teeks is like, you know what? I got to throw down the most points, because right now we got for open from yesterday the most points. Thank you. 
All right, both on the airship. <clears throat> whole lot of nothing going on, because the airships are a whole lot of nothing going on. <laughs> Very nice. Teek's going for the fire kill and knows his warpless kills. Oh, he, oh my god, that was so close. He's missing. He's not missing. He's doing good. Let's go ahead and fix Teek's his timer here. Very nice. On the fly fix changes. Oh, WRD getting stuck in time there. Unfortunately, lost forever. Uh, but the buffer does come back, thankfully. All right. <clears throat> Unfortunately, not getting the frame jump at the start of the level. So it's a great opportunity for WRD to make up that point there, that shared point. Unless I'm blind and deaf and I didn't see or hear Teeks do it. Unless somebody can confirm for me. It's always good to have two eyes, two eyes, two ears. Four eyes, four ears. WRD also not getting the jump. Dang it, we have seen a lot of missed opportunities. However, the 3-1 is very tough to capitalize on. It's a very tough thing that happens. Most often, it's kind of random. And yeah, WRD's coin count is a little scary right here. Uh, but I don't think he's going to have any problems with it. Ooh, Teek's doing the run there. Not going to be able to keep his speed speed. WRD with two stars in his inventory. Not in runaway bro range, but Teeks is in runaway bro range. He is there. And he doesn't get it, though. Jeez, what a what a debate. Teeks is going to fight the hammer, though. He has three opportunities to get runaway bro here. Well, technically two, because he's got to move back there. So hopefully he does for him. And he does not. So Teeks is in an awkward situation. Uh, I think this is the kind of situation that either he's just going to fight the star, take the loss in point. Oh, and he doesn't get door three or door four, sorry. <clears throat> so he's going to take the loss in point for star in his inventory, or he's going to have to take the loss in time and kind of sacrifice the 54. And it's too early in the run to, to lose a point to give yourself the sub 54 when you know for sure, you know, you know, well... I don't mean you know for sure, I'm just saying you know that it's impossible to know at this point how how the time's gonna go. So let's see what he does here. WRD on the edge, Teeks going back for the point. It's, oh, and he's not gonna get an inventory star. The clutch plays, WRD gonna go for door four and he does not get it. Wow, the clutch plays for Teeks right there. That was impressive, was not expecting him to go back. Definitely tricked. Ooh, WRD doing the invisible wall jump. The boom boom battle will not start unless you're standing on the ground there, unfortunately. Yeah, so it looks like, unfortunately, unfortunately, Teeks is gonna have to take this uh, time loss. Uh, but is it really a time loss if he's going to redo the level? Yeah, and WRD had already taken damage. WRD getting runaway, bro, though. That is insane. And just like that, they are lined back up. However, Teeks does have the hammer. So Teeks is still in the lead. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, kind of unfortunate world three for Teeks. 
Minus the lost flower. As long as he doesn't lose his fire flower, he's he's good. He'll he'll get another point. As long as he doesn't lose his fire flower. WRD had already lost it, so there's not really anything else that WRD can get here. Obviously, he doesn't want that inventory star. Oh, the, t the attack of the H jumps. Oh no, it's lagging. It, so he can't grab the blocks because of the lag there. Unfortunate. Teeks played 3 7 because he, he made a big gamble in World 3. He got the Hammer Brother from the Hammer Bro and was banking on the other Hammer Brother to run away. Um, but that didn't happen. So. Not a whole lot he can do about it. WRD is going to be behind by a little bit here. <clears throat> plus the Fortress in World 4. So he's behind by probably close to a minute, I'd say. Now, we're not going to see that full minute until we get into World 4. About halfway through World 4, we'll see it finally connect. Whole lot of nothing. Good old airships. Do 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 do. All right, Teeks with a nice fire kill, 1705. One grab. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what time he's expecting to have when he finishes World 3, so... Oh! Oh my goodness. There you go, we got it. Nice. Take that, Wendy! Yep. Okay, moving on to World 4. Not a whole lot going on. Okay, let's see. World 4, here we go. Uh, Teeks is very good at 4-1, so we should see him get this point. We... There should be no reason why he doesn't get this point, that's for sure. Going for the non-shell strats, he does get it. Takes bottom route, nice, he does nail it. Now it's WRD's turn. We're working on a turn-based system right here. Nice, shell grab. I support your decision. Does keep P-Speed! That's right, he does get it! Right on. What a way to keep it, right? What a way to work for it. That's a way to work for it. What a way to work for it. Yeah, work it. Alright, both runners not getting the best RNG here. Teeks is in a little bit better position. Getting that movement of four there. Um, Teeks can use the hammers, so he's got a little bit more options here. Alright, WRD continuing to not really get good RNG. He's gonna have to keep chasing that hammer, brother. So hopefully he comes back. Oh, and Teeks in a... Oh! Getting lucky there. However, this could be big. Oh, and WRD taking damage. That's fine. He does make it out of 4-3. This is big. Will Teeks get the inventory star? Oh, wow. Wow. Teeks with that luck right there. And WRD kind of getting lucky. Not really. The Hammer Brother is still kind of close to him. But again, there's not much he could really do. 
in this situation. He's going to have to wait. Wow, very nice for WRD. Going to grab this backup mushroom. Very good idea. Uh, WRD, going to get a coin ship here. Luckily, can't get a coin ship in World 4. Yeah, Teeks wanted to take a quick look before he goes, but not really anything for him. And here goes the duck jumps. Ah, looks like Teek was working on that a little bit. Very nice for Teeks. Gets the duck jumps there. No marathon though, unfortunately. WRD also not getting a marathon. Oh, WRD getting sniped. Stay low. Oh my god, so scary. You don't have to worry about coin ship in this world, WRD. You're good. Nice, he's in a good spot. He's in a very good spot here. And we could see, we, we, we have not visually seen a marathon in World 4 yet. So let's see if we can see one here. Nope, definitely not. Music box, all right, WRD needs to collect these points. Make sure Teeks doesn't get an additional lead here. Oh, and lost the duck jump. Unfortunate. And uh, just a reminder too, Teeks also still has the leaf from World 1. So he has that extra point there in World 6. But now Teeks is on his way to World 5. And WRD. Very nice work for WRD there. Fantastic Fortress, love to see it. That's really good. All right, just like that, he's out of there. Still no star inventory point for either runner. That's good, that's good. And the most awesome auto-scroller in the world. Good luck to our runners, airship's almost over. Very nice for Teeks. I heard that fire kill. Had to grab a quick drink, guys. Gotta get my red beezy. All right, here we go. WRD making his way through the airship. It's just about finish. All right, Teeks. What do we got? It's gonna P wing it. Wow, very nice duck fly. All right, WRD, on your way. Oh, WRD getting sandwiched there. Come on, don't pizza and french fry at the same time. Very nice. Dude, that's way too scary, man. Sometimes you can go right through the boss, that sucks. Nice, he's going for the damage boost strategy. And the block grab strategy. 
284 in the pipe. That should be pretty good for 282, and he does get it very nice. That I feel like that almost switched to 281. We saw that happen two times to, I think, Feropen, actually, yesterday. His strategy failed him. Feropen would have actually had 42 points. No marathons for Teeks just yet, or movements of four, I guess. Right thing to use. WRD with a great fly in there. Very nice. Now, WRD with a pipe rub there. Is he going to go for it? I don't think so. Okay. He's going to catch up a little bit in time here from that. I don't know who made the prediction, guys. I'm sorry. So I don't know how to... Has to be a movement of exactly... Well, that's the only movement... That's the highest Hammer Brother movement that you can get in World 5. It's a movement of 4. WRD with the movement of 4! All right, Teeks with the big jump here. Very scary. And he gets it. Very nice. A plus five movement. Toffle would tell you it's possible, but in a speed run, that's not really possible. All right, very nice. WRG gets a movement of two, which means his hammer brother is behind the castle. Teeks getting early P speed without using a star. That's just... Teeks is on fire right now. WRD is holding his own, though. He's not far behind Teeks. He's not far behind at all. Both these runners are doing great. Oh, Teeks going to grab the early fire flower. Risque! He short hopped so he could be prepared. And I tell you, 5-4 has been nuts. He does get a movement of four, though. He might be able to get that point back. Unfortunately, he's not going to be able to get the big, big jump here. Teek's not getting movements of four either. Hope WRD knows that he can take this safe. Oh, man. He went for it anyways. He's got one uh, one chance left to get a movement of four here. Damn, and he doesn't get the P speed. So Teeks is going to get that early benefit, man, the, the shared point benefit. Oh, yeah, what am I... I'm sorry, that, um... Yeah, no, that does count. He did get it. I'm sorry. He didn't actually try it. He died in the level before the jump. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I... I... Yeah, I just... I can't remember what we ruled. The, the runners would know better than me. Because they're the ones who talk about it, practice it. I just made the rules, told them all what to do, and then they all do it. I, I can't... We've talked about this before. I can't exactly remember what we decided, but it's in the rules there. Other runners would know. I would just leave it to the other runners to decide, and then I'll just do what, what they decide. So whatever works.
Yeah, if you die, if you die trying for it, yes, that that is 100%. You can't go for it again. But if you die again, then you okay, that's right. Yeah, we've seen that happen before in runs, and we, we've given them the points. So, all right, Teak's gonna go for his uh, fire kill manipulation here. Nice, WRD making it. Very nice. Two fire flowers for WRD. Right on, right on. Gets the movements of four, but no early P speed has not lost his fire flower yet. All right, here goes Teeks. First hammer brother for Teeks is going to be what? High or low? High or low? He's gonna get low first. <laughs> Oof, risky. Yeah, Deeks doesn't do olden day strats, so he's good. Look at how well he's doing this fortress now. He's just saving so much time the way he does this fortress now compared to how he did it last season. Or how he was just doing it normally in his runs last season as well. Very big improvement from Teeks. A lot of runners in the points tournament right now have had massive improvements. Even old man Beardy Locks. I, I, I haven't known him for very long. I've verified a couple of his runs, but I've seen his progression... And uh, him included, everyone has just been insane. WRD has to make sure he does not lose Fire Flower. Jumping a little too early on the boss. Looking good, very nice. Cannot, cannot afford to get punished there. Teeks, also very close to a coin ship. Uh, but luckily in the next level, he's going to get the double. He's gonna, he's gonna smack two blocks, so he should be good. Yeah, he should be good. All right, let's see what Teeks gets. Gets low pattern again, very unfortunate. WRD starts off with high pattern. That's what Teeks needed. Teeks didn't get it though. Teeks did avoid using an inventory star though. That's good. Very nice, very nice for WRD. Teeks is going to remember to use his leaf, right? He does remember to use his leaf. Very good for Teeks. All right, WRD's turn now. Getting a marathon stuck. He's still, okay, he's good now. I told Teeks yesterday, man. You drastically decrease your chance for a car for a wall jump when you do a turn back. He can still get lucky here though. Oh, WRD getting thrown around but survives. Ah, okay, I see. Teeks is gonna go for the manipulation, that's right. So it doesn't matter for him. Alright, first try. Oh first try! WRD getting lucky if the hammer brother gets low pattern as well. Teeks gets too high. WRD got too low. Damn, neither runner is going to get that. Oh, so that's what happened uh, an hour ago to... Um, uh, 
Raycor. Ooh, WRD getting a little slip up here. Teak's gonna go for the clip. Oh, I thought he got it. That was very close. WRD almost taking damage there. Very nice. And it looks like WRD has avoided all Star Bros. Right? WRD did not... WRD didn't get a Star Bro in World 4, right? No, he didn't. He used Music Box. He didn't get one in World 3. He used Music Box. And he didn't get one in World 5. He used Music Box. Yeah. No Star Bro. Maybe he just hasn't marked it because there's a lot going on right now. Right? There's a lot going on, man. There's a lot going on here. We got auto scrollers and ice. It's a big day for the Mario 3 Kingdom. Big day. Even though he has a tail, he still has to remember to equip it. <gasps> Doesn't WRD have the leaf in his inventory? Or am I crazy? Maybe I'm crazy. I got I'm crazy, right? We'll see. We'll see when he equips something in the next level. Teeks had leaf. Oh, he got a flower. Oh. Oh, and he doesn't get first try wall jumps. Gonna give that point to Teeks. There we go. Very nice for WRD. Very nice. That was a great wall jump. He was prepared. It was the first time he got the clip, too, so he did well. Yeah, WRD got low, low, and Teeks got high, high. <gasps> WRD and Raycor are making a couple similar mistakes here. Damn, that sucks. Not going to be able to try the clip here. Kind of tried it a bit, though. He kind of tried it a bit. Very nice for Teeks getting a second try. Was probably a little hung up on not getting a first try and then getting a second try. It's like, oop, I better, I better keep quiet. That was pretty good, pretty good. Yes, yes, we're all nerds here, guys. We're all nerds. All right, WRD getting low, low. So he's not going to get that one. He didn't have to leave. Wall jumped like third try and didn't get floor clip. I'm going to have to move on to World 7 here. Uh, I don't know if either runner have used their lifeline. Okay, okay, okay. Pipe to pipe, baby. Oh, that's right. Teex has not used his lifeline. That's right. Don't get punished. No bumps yet for Teeks. Pipe the pipe with 69 coins. <laughs> That'd be silly. All right, are we going to get the 183? Looking good. One eighty three. Teeks is bombing through right now. 
Will he get first try though? Still no bumps either. Oh man. <laughs> Damn, WRD not quite getting the clip there. I think he did the correct jump, just had bad subpixel. Teeks doesn't have the star, so unfortunately he's gonna have to slow down for this section. Nice, WRD does get the clip, very good. Right, right, everyone, because they do the manipulation, they expect that they're gonna get the clip first try, and then they just stand there for like 10 frames, and they're looking at the wall. Oh, Teeks is gonna do it. Very nice. You love to see the hammer boys coming out. Oh! Oh, Teeks, Jesus! Not getting pipe to pipe WRD. That's okay. He got through the level though. Teeks had had to clean up a little bit there. Made a couple mistakes. Looking good. No bonk just yet. <gasps> no, WRD. No, the punishment. Uh, I was wondering, is he going to go back in the pipe? And yes, he is. 7-3 is a great level, man. I got to hit people where they where they feel like they can be calm, you know? The break in World 7 is 7-3. Seven, like, that's the break level. Like, everything's tough, and then that level comes in. Oh, no, WRD did the runoff. No! Oh, he got it still. Wow. Come on, first try. Come on, first try. Oh, he jumped a couple frames too late. Nice. Let's go. No bumps yet. Hmm, it's got no star. This is pretty risky. Teeks had to do the same thing where you do the side rub. Oh, he's going for it though. Shit. Nice. He gets the despawn, which is a little bit better than what uh, Teeks got there. Oh, snap. Nice. Hammer suit going on the wrong side, but he still gets it. He still gets it. As long as he doesn't take damage here. I wonder if he's going to do the fortress. I'm going to guess no. I'm going to guess no, because the fortress is kind of scary. Oh, no. Anything but the clips. Yes, thank you. Whoa, that lag. What? Why the heck is it lagging so much? S 
Not getting mid clip. Mid clip would have been nice. Would have saved a little bit of time there. Yeah, there's too much crap in 7 9. 7 9 is too thick. I don't think any bumps there. Very nice. World 8, last one to clean up a couple points. You win by points. You win by points. You win by points. Yeah, getting it in first place. You get it. You get an extra point for yeah, doing first place. Yes. Right. Uh, Teeks is doing good. We're going to see. I don't know if Teeks can get uh, sub 54, but we're going to find out. WRD almost done with the airship, too. We're just in auto scroll land. There's a whole lot of nothing going on right now. WRD taking damage there. Oh no, he didn't get stunned though. Wow. How did he not get stunned? Gotta get no more hands here, I think, if he wants to sub 54. No more hands. WRD equipping his hammer suit early. That's incredible. Teeks with one hand. This could be big. Scrollers. Oh, auto scrollers. Always so silly. Always so auto. Yes, yesterday was the first sub fifty four. Yesterday was the first sub fifty four. You, man thank you so much dude let's go for the sub 54 mem arden thank you very much man hot damn all right teeks is gonna go yeah what a legend teeks is gonna go for the combo point oh yeah well that spices it up a bit thank you seriously 
290, he's got half of it. Nice, WRD finishing up the first auto scroll. He's got a couple of stuff left to do. All right, Teeks. Here we go, Teeks. Come on, Teeks, combo point right here. Very nice. Very nice for Teeks right there. Gets the combo point. He's at 18 right now. Oh, snap, Trash Panda with the 10 as well. Thank you very much. You guys both bombing off. Very much appreciated, guys. You guys are pog. Whee! Insane day for races. Yo, magic smoke with five. Thank you. Teeks, is he going to get the conveyor P speed? And he does get the conveyor P speed. Teeks has an opportunity for second place in points and time. The second person to get the sub 54. Is he going to get it? Meanwhile, my chat's popping off. Teeks is popping off. WRD's on auto scroller. What's going on here? With the hammer kills. Thank you very much, guys. But don't thank me. Thank the runners. The runners are doing great. Teeks, get in there! Alright, WRD's chance at the hands here. We want to see no hands for WRD. No hands. Oh no, WRD. Get him, get him. Okay, good. Sunshine DJ, thank you very much for the five as well. Damn, this race is hot, man. It's hot for me and it's hot for them. Lots going on. Thank you very much, guys. Seriously. Oh, WRD all but the last hand. That's still pretty good, though. Last hand is like guaranteed I'm only getting one hand, right? So that's good. <clears throat> Unless he dies on this hand, which I really hope he doesn't. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Die in hand three, rage quit. I wasn't trying to curse anyone. All right, Teeks is going to get a very high 53 here. Very high 53. Mark him down for the sub 54. Teeks, no, what are you doing? Why? Don't go for that. You're crazy. That that clip would not have benefit you at all. It wouldn't have changed anything if he got it. Oh, thank God he didn't miss that clip. Right? Next thing you know, he starts missing the, the one-up clip. He's good, though. He's good. All right. He made it. Wow. Insane. WRD finishing Air Force. Time for WRD to clean up conveyor piece speed and combo points. All right, he's going to use the star. Teeks finishes off with a 53 48. Very nice for Teeks. WRD's got the combo point. Nice. He kept P speed. Yes. Go, WRD. Go. Go. 289, no, come on. I'd be cursing the game right now. Come on, he was so close. That was like for opens uh, 282 and 52. Just not close enough. SK with the five gift subs. Thank you very much, SK. WRD doing fire strategy. Did he still kill the sun there though? Amazing, yeah, see you later, Mr. Sun. Get the heck out of here. WRD definitely has time to finish though, so he's still he's still good. He's got to get conveyor P speed here though. Oh no, Zs. That's okay. He's got time. It really it's not that big of a deal. He's got time. Oh, he ran a little too much. 
on the conveyor. Well, this is a big race for WRD. Don't forget that, guys. Teeks is one of the top Mario 3 runners. Yeah, don't forget. It's like... It's like... It's it's honestly... It's like going up against me and then people getting mad that, like, you didn't do well enough against me. It's like, come on, it's tough, man. It's tough to go up against. And yeah, I think WRD's doing an amazing job, too. He still has nine points. Well, yesterday, Feropen got 22 in one race. Yeah, I think WRD's doing great. Well, I'm just using me as an example, right? Like, it's, uh... It's tough. Oh, oh, snap, we had a hype train. Thank you very much, guys, for the hype. And Sapphire Lemur, welcome back to Prime Gaming for seven months. Damn, thanks for the hype train, guys. I, I can't see because of the, the tracker and stuff. I can only see, like, three lines of chat. Yeah, Mitch flexing. It doesn't count as flexing if you've, like, done something for, like, 12 years. It's, like, expected. <laughs> Instead of Thomas the Tank Engine, Thomas the Hype Train. He's just got, like, sunglasses and a bong. Ride the hype train, bro. Exactly. That's exactly, Chuck. Exactly. All right. WRD going to finish off strong with a, with a low 58, it looks like. We can use WRD's audio. Why not? I'm surprised we haven't switched until now. Let's go, baby! Nice, killing Bowser. GG to WRD. Give both runners a nice solid GG. WRD finishing with a 58-13. Very nice. Very nice. Damn, that is going to be tough for WRD. 21-9. Damn. Give these runners a quick five minute break. Let me talk with chat, hang out with chat, put in the scores, 21 to nine. It's gonna be an extremely hard race too for WRD. Um, but there's one thing that most people don't like to talk about during tournaments and that is when the tournament gets up to round two, round three, semifinals, the better players start weaning out the not so better players. I guess it's like, Class A, Class B, Class C when it comes to tiers, right? Like the everyone with a PB of 52 minutes are going to start beating out the people with 54 and 55 minute PBs, right? That's just the way that's just the way it works and that's it's kind of what's happening a little bit right now. Uh WRD was standing a pretty good chance uh early on in the race, but as I said in the Discord, WRD started to run out of steam a little bit where Teeks uh, started to get in the groove instead. Teeks, Teeks went the other way. Teeks just started to get a little better. Um, and that's, uh, and that, that right there, that is the, you know, that's the difference. That's just what happens. 
Um, and that is exactly why when I seed these tournaments, that everyone in the in round one, every single person in round one goes up against somebody with similar PB, so everyone has a chance. Everyone has a chance, an opportunity to win a match. It's an equal opportunity at the start. And of course, sometimes round two, you'll be matched up with somebody who will just completely annihilate you, but at the same time, I mean, it, it's gonna happen eventually, right? And that's... That, that's just that's just kind of how it goes. Not all the time. Not all the time. Beardy Locks is still in, right? Yeah, Beardy Locks is still in, so there's a lot. You gotta beat the best to be the best. That's right. That's right. I mean, it's, um, well, everyone in this tournament isn't, isn't like, it's not like these guys are the best of the best because the way the tournament works is you have RNG and skilled points at the same time, right? And it's just, anything can happen in these tournaments, but in terms of just comfortability with the game, I mean, you can't deny that Teeks have, has been running longer than WRD. Um, has been put in more situations, been in more tournaments, right? Um, that alone shouldn't stop somebody from winning, uh, but again, every, every, dude, everyone's got to lose in a tournament except one person, right? So they, they, no matter how much we slice it, it's just how it goes. Well, that too, yeah, man. These guys are being featured on, on my channel and they got a lot of views. This is probably the most viewers most of these runners have ever had watching them, right? And that's just the way it goes. That's just how it is. I mean, it's a different culture. How to beat Teeks 88 is what WRD just Google searched. Nice. Yeah, that's that's what WRD just searched on on the internet. How to beat Teeks eighty eight. It's just you and the game, baby. Yeah, you actually did a really good job with eight one old man beauty locks. That's uh, you did a great job. You should definitely go back and watch your races. A couple, there's a couple places for you to clean up. Uh, with some decision making probably a total of 20 to 30 seconds um, Trying to figure out what you want to do in the overworld map and that's a that's a good place to start to maybe clean up Clean up a couple little things just a little bit of advice. You don't have to take it. Just my uh, constructed criticism Only good things from here on out right guys only good things from here on out I just said the WRD and Discord, you can always hire a poo stomp. I mean, I do know a guy. I I I know someone who can who can uh make life a lot more difficult for for uh teeks. <laughs> no, I'm going to be so once I'm done with this tournament, then I'm gonna start going for the uh the hat merch, guys. The hat merch. But first things first, when I when I finish this tournament, I have to re I have to restart the engine on my Twitch channel, pretty much. So that's what I'm gonna be focused on. First, when the tournament's done. When I get back in the groove, I gotta I gotta re-oil and re-gas up the engine of my Twitch page. Get back into it. 
um, get back to streaming, get back in the schedules. The tournament just takes up so much time and so much energy of like my voice and uh, organizing the whole thing and getting it all. Um, and then, yeah, get right back into it. And then we're good. To, uh, and, then, and then I can start getting back into uh, content provider, creator, um, merch and stuff like that. Um, I'm looking forward to probably doing eight hours a day in June to try and get the 100% record back. Um, so yeah, I got to get back. I got to get the Twitch channel back in action. And then once we get that underway, then yeah. Uh, WRD looked like he was just playing some like little ROM hack or something. All right, are you guys ready? These runners are ready. Uh, we had 21 to nine. That's rough, that's rough. On to race two. Uh, I'll probably do eight hours, probably starting from like 10 o'clock my time. So 12 Eastern, I guess, in the in the morning, go through the afternoon. That way, it's not too late when I go to bed and I don't have to get up too early. Do the eight hours in the middle of the day kind of thing. That way, people can catch me on my lunch break and when they get home from work and stuff like that. And in the morning, too, right? I'll still be there in the morning. So, yeah, be interesting. Maybe I'll start 11 my time, so 1. Or I'll just start noon my time and go to 8, 8 p.m. That way, I can go to bed at, like... 9, 30, 10, maybe 12, some crap, or 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spread out, spread out the time a little bit. All right, we got WRDs ready. Teeks is not ready just yet, guys. We'll wait for Teeks to dot ready up. And again, thank you very much for the support, guys. I, I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, I think Teeks is ready. I'm ready, Mitch. I'm spamming select. All right, Teeks is ready. Are you guys ready? Thank you very much, guys, for the support as well. I, I greatly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. During that last race, that was awesome. Thank you. All right, these guys are ready. You guys are ready, too. And then after this... Everyone's got to schedule their new races, so uh, stay tuned. Don't forget to type exclamation tournament, guys, and save the calendar because it'll be updated. You check back every day. Make sure you don't miss races. All right. Three, two, one, go. So who's going to start first here? Wait, WRD's. He was typing. Uh, he's good now. Okay, WRD starts. Don't forget to bring a tail. Oh, WRD with a clip. Gets his P-Speed back, though. Ooh, 
Teeks! That is a very rare mistake for Teeks. Oh no, this is this is not stuff that Teeks does. He's definitely out of his comfort zone. WRD gonna grab the star. Nice, WRD. That was looking a little grim there, but he did manage to get it. All right, Teeks is going to be the first one for MFP Tunnel. Here we go. Oh, and Teeks does get it his second time. Oh, and WRD had the right idea. He had he didn't have the right momentum though. Unfortunately, did not have the right momentum. <laughs> yeah, spam those MFP tunnels, guys. WRD getting gated by the hole in the ground, but he's good. Nice. Teeks with the uh, Fire Flower from Hammer Brother. That's what you want to see. Just makes life a lot easier. All right. Is Teeks going to get as lucky here? Let's see. Who's getting lucky first? Oh, Teeks doesn't get it this time. And neither does WRD, neither runner going to capitalize on the back pocket point. All right, WRD's about a hammer brother and a little bit behind here. He's going to be the first one to finish. World 1. Uh, there's a couple runners in Mario 3 that took a break and decided not to participate in this tournament, but I feel like we're going to see them come back in Season 4. Um, we're going we're gonna to try and make sure from here on out the prize money for first place is always going to be 1000 bucks, two times a year, so uh, we'll see if we can get that. And uh, so just just to name a couple names that we're missing right now uh, that could be in the tournament, we got Maiba, Louie, Haxor, and Zikubi. Those four runners not in the tournament right now. Uh, Fell could have been in the tournament. That would have been another one. Um, so a total of five top tier runners could still be in the tournament that aren't in this season. Uh, T, um, Grand Pooh Bear is unfortunately not, um, a top tier Mario 3 runner, although he is a very good Mario 3 runner. He hasn't played in a long time, so a there's a lot of runners on here, um, that would make him not quite the top tier. He could be, though, that's the thing with Pooh Bear, he's very good at video games. He could be a top tier runner and join these tournaments. Um, <laughs> is Barb? I don't know, man. Uh, Karua is so good at Mario 3 that he would... Oh, and these guys are tied back up. Amazing. Um, but yeah, Karua is so good at Mario 3 that he would be able to pick it back up very easily. Nice. Neither runner getting the moat. Both runners getting the 10 bucks, though. Uh, both of them got the 10 bucks.
Oh, WRD didn't go for it. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're very close. Uh, yeah, the five people that I just named are the top ten runners in Warpless that are not in. Why well, not? I don't know if Haxer's top ten anymore. All right, Teeks's first hammer brother is going to be. Forward bros, very unfortunate. He did get lucky last time, so. WRD gonna go for the red rocket here. Oh, and he lost the P-Speed. This is going to be rough. I'm not sure how he can bring this back. Yeah, he's gonna have to throw it if he doesn't want to lose the Fire Flower. Unfortunate. Tix is gonna be able to catch up with the extra Hammer Brother battle here. And he does get the red rocket, very nice. Unfortunate WRD taking that damage. I didn't lose my voice. I'm still here. I've done I've done it properly this this year around uh, Season two I did not pace myself season one I didn't care because season one was awesome season two was great, but I didn't properly pace myself to uh, Like like coast like stream and do the tournament at the same time it was very difficult It was very difficult to do that stuff, but this season I'm focusing the entire month on the tournament, the prize pool, uh, the structure, the organization, and, and everything's flowing incredibly well. I like this. This is way more comfortable doing the tournaments like this. Rather than me trying to stream, you know, six hours a day every day and, and stack this on, I just get to put my full energy into it. And I really like it like that. All right, Teeks with the Pyramid. WRD. I don't know if WRD got backwards there. I just looked away for like one frame. Did WRD get both backwards, bros? Oh, he's going back for the spade card. He forgot about it. Nice. I'm, that, hey, that's that's worth it. So did WRD get two forward bros then? Oh, not second one? It's unfortunate. Yeah, it all depends on what WR WRD's second bro was. Uh, but apparently his first bro was four, and that's how he lost damage. We saw another runner today. Uh, we saw another runner today taking damage um, from the boomerang bro by kind of mildly rushing it a little bit. And we definitely touched base on the fact that once the boomerang bro throws the boomerang, there's nothing you can do to go faster. So there's no point in kind of rushing the kill. You just have to kill him before he throws the next boomerang. That's it. Um, so a little, little bit of advice from the commentator's booth here. I know a few things. I know a couple things about Mario 3. Yeah, just a couple though, not much. Ah, uh, yeah, I only know a couple things. Not many things. I try. What are my credentials? 
Um, I did the wrong warp in front of like 200,000 people at GDQ for the first time with a hard setup. And I lost to a Hot Pocket in front of hundreds of thousands of people on TV. And I played a Poo World game at a GDQ once. A, wor a Poo World. It was full of poo. So that's, that's about all I got. That's as good as I can go. Oh shit, did Teeks get the jump? Oh yeah, and just to remind you, it was the second world of Poo that I did, so... If that helps. I don't know anything about the first world of Poo, I just know the second one. That's all I was able to do. Alright, Teeks going for early P-Speed. Nails it! Teeks in an awkward position with 33, but he's alright. He's looking good. for WRD. Finally, a breath of fresh air. WRD sitting there. Thank goodness. Thank you. Uh, Teex is not taking damage yet, so he's still eligible for that point. Oh, WRD just lost his P-Speed. Alright, Teex is gonna go for his metronome. Failed them last time. Let's see if he gets it this time. Using the metronome to go through the door four. That's a very good strategy. No runaway bro yet. Let's go peaks. Teeks not getting runaway. Very nice. WRD's not too far behind. He's behind by a little bit. He had to do some pretty thick backtracking there in World 2 to go to the spade card game. Um, and I guess he didn't want to wait until World 3 because he wanted to get a couple items. Also, not getting runaway, but he is going to get the hammer here in World 3. Oh, with the duck! Nice, Teeks with the H jump, WRD gonna get door four. Damn, come on, he had it, he had it. And so far, Teeks has not taken any damage. <laughs> no, WRD! Door six though, guys, door six. Gotta watch out for that. Bo. Boop. Four, five. Ooh, WRD getting the star. So he's not going to be able to get the uh, no inventory star point. However, he is going to be able to get to skip the fortress in World 4. So that's that's not so bad. It's a loss at a point, but he does save time. So he is going to bring some time back there. I've been thinking a little bit about how I would structure, because everyone keeps asking me to do a run of this, of how I would structure the points for myself. And like, I was thinking of not going for the spade card point and not going for the inventory star point, and then 
I don't know. See, I don't know exactly what I would do. It's it's tough. Yeah, yeah, but Teeks wants to get career a uh, career high, right? Eventually, eventually the tournament will go on for so long, right? The points tournament, like, I, I'm not going to keep calling it seasons, right? I'm, I'm not going to be like, points tournament season 13, right? I'll eventually change the name after like five or six seasons. Um, which would, you know, essentially be good. And then, then that way I can start seeding people for overall points, career totals, race totals, average point, you know, all that stuff. Oh, WRD almost taking damage there. Winter, spring, that's right. Yeah, all that stuff. Like the the season numbers are great at the start, but to uh, to keep call like I don't want to get up to season you know twenty four here. Like what is this a TV show? Right. Obviously we can come up with a better name for this, but for now it's per works perfect. All right, Teeks does get bottom path. Very nice for Teeks. Not a good start with the Hammer Brother movements though. Vandalay Industries Invitational. Yep. You want to be my latex salesman. The Bick Bork Invitational. Oh no, Teeks did not lose Fireflower. My bad, I'm sorry. He did not. Thank you. I was waiting for him to fight Wendy to give him that point. Then we started talking about a bunch of nonsense. We could do that. Yeah, that sounds actually pretty good. Mushroom Cup, Fire Cup, Star Cup, right? But that's sadly not original, original enough. I wouldn't go with that. All right, WRD, Teeks not getting a marathon. You'll never know what's in the crates, guys. <laughs> what? Is, what is? What am I? A freaking? MFP's happy sea creatures sing along points invitational season sixteen. Oh no, Teeks in a very, very annoying situation here. And this is what I was talking about, man. Nice, WRD also gets bottom P speed, very nice. Yeah, yeah, let's go. The crates are full of Bowsette's tools. I don't think so. Teeks with the duck jumps, very nice. Let's go. Teeks could definitely get a little marathon right here. I want to see it, man. I want to see this awkward marathon. WRD smashing through right now. Good, good. WRD's definitely cleaning up a little bit here. Uh, WRD just got a movement of five. Did he not? That was definitely a, a more than a movement of four, wasn't it? Ooh, is Teeks gonna have to fight the star? Oh, wow, getting lucky there. Teeks getting lucky.
Teeks just absolutely getting lucky right there. Nice, WRD is going to be able to get the cloud here and then use the hammer. Um, ooh, WRD gonna be able to not get P speed here, but he's still gonna stomp it. All right, WRD. Oh, knocking a music box here. What's going on here? Oh, shit. All right, WRD, get the full clear world four, please. We need to see it. Full clear world four. Let's go. No. Why this one? You had it, dude. You had it. It's okay, though. It's okay. It happens. All right. Hammer Brother moves out of his way. That's good. grabs the wand and nice the hammer brother moves out of his way is that the cloud did wrd get the big switch the big switcheroni he did that's right because he got the marathon they had to switch it up Nice using the P-Wing, WRD on the airship. So WRD, unfortunately, getting the Star Bro. Uh, Teeks has not got a Star Bro yet. Well, actually, WRD already got the Star Bro in World 3, so not a big deal. All right, you guys keep coming up with names for the tournament. can't get a coin ship in world four no but wrd could get a coin ship in world five all right teak's gonna go for it teak's has this level down it's a you definitely practice it quite a bit Still no movement of four. Teeks is getting the good RNG, but in the points tournament, that's technically bad RNG. No, that was 282 fall. I just haven't marked it yet. How about Koopa Kid Seasons? I don't know. What's Koopa Kid Seasons? Come on, WRD! Very nice. Very nice. A Lemmy Bowl. Ludwig Bowl. 
I see what you mean. All right, WRD, you're in. You're in World 5. Let's go, bud. Teak's going to go for the big jump. All right, he does get it. Big Koopa jump. He got the 282 fall. Here we go. Getting that early P speed from Teeks. Yes, very nice work from both of these runners. WRD's definitely bringing it back. He's bringing the hotness back. Um, he's just a little bit too far behind here. Um, but he can still get some extra points, get career high. I can see WRD coming back to every season. Um, I can see most runners coming back for every season. Everyone ex has expressed that they've enjoyed it, especially people from season one and two. Most of them have come back. It's weird. The mo the people who have not come back for season three are the the world's best Mario three players, which I find that very strange. It's like it's like those top five guys or top six guys or whatever. It's like they don't want to compete with each other. It's very strange. It's very strange. They all they all opted out on the same season. We'll get them back though, guys. We'll get them back. You would think most people actually um, talk about how they don't want uh, the one thousand dollars, which I, I guess so. A lot of people don't really care too much about it, which makes sense. Too busy grinding. That's right. They'll be back though. We'll, we'll bring them back. I miss them. We all miss them, except Taxu. Nice twisty castle so far from WRD. Exactly what you mean by the word beyond. Like they're too good for the tournament with everyone joining, they would just beat them. Oh, man, I don't, I don't know. I can't really. S I see what you're. I see what you're asking, Shelby. The only way, the only reason I would say that that's not, that's not the way that it is is because you don't know what the points are until after you've joined. Nice, WRD getting the big Koopa jump. Boom, baby. He needs to get this P speed to take away from Teeks. <gasps> nope, nope. Teeks will get that. No runner's gotten movements of four yet. All right, on Teeks is going to be the first one to enter World Six WRD. Finishing up the top section of World 5 here. Uh, he's gotten kind of close to a coin ship a couple times. He's got one movement of four here. He hasn't really capitalized much on movements of four. He does have his Fire Flower now. He has to make sure he doesn't lose it. Is it true? If I don't use it, I'll lose it. The answer is yes. There's actually been a couple people in the tournament who have lost Fire Flower. Um... By not using it at the right time. Like, they could have just shot the Fire Flower and they would have saved taking damage, but nope. Alright, Teeks' first Hammer Brother is going to be High Pattern. He's going to get High first. He's going to be the first one. Another movement of four for WRD. 
I don't know. Did WRD? Ah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if he marks it down because that's two movements of four right there. <laughs> if I was WRD, do you know what I'd do? I'd go back to the Twisty Castle. Oh, no, the Twisty Castle doesn't move. I don't know. I'd find another level to do. Dang, man, he lost that fire flower. No! And he only got two movements of four. Nice, Tweaks. Tweaks! Oh, it's a new name! It's Tweaks! It's not Teeks anymore, Tweaks! Tweaks using his P-Wing, very nice! Shit! <laughs> yeah, Tweaks88 coming in hot with his P-Wings, better watch out! It was Peaks, but now it's Tweaks. <laughs> Are you guys sure my commentary's top tier? Are you guys sure? Nice. Gets the move in there. Does get low pattern. So Teeks got high and low, didn't he? Teeks is going to get high and Teeks is going to get low. Very nice. Getting the good RNG there. Looks like he's going to avoid stars. Yes, he did. Avoid all stars. Wow. Oh, no. WRD. Come on, man. Oh, come on. Very nice. Okay, that was very scary. He got it, though. WRD was scaring me there, too, but he got it. Yeah, Teeks has got no leap anyways. Neither runner got their leap from the inventory. WRD's first hammer brother is going to be... High pattern. So now he needs to get low. Teeks, I don't know, man. That looked like a pretty hard press to the right. If he doesn't get the clip, I wouldn't be surprised. If he get it, he's definitely on subpixel 5. Oh, it's all over now. And he doesn't get it. Uh, don't, just ignore what I said. Teeks ran into the block, which messed up the entire manipulation. Uh, Teeks has to do the start of 6-9 without touching any walls or anything. He has to go directly to the wall for it to work. Let's see if Teeks gets the clip here. Oh, he's gonna have to slow down, get P speed back. He does get it. Oh, and he touches his feet. He's gonna take damage. He doesn't have enough time. See, I already knew he was gonna take damage. I just, uh, we've seen that mistake many times. WRD with 99 coins scaring me a little bit. WRD got low pattern first. So he needs high pattern here. Oh no, guys, look, guys, guys. WRD is going to hit two blocks here. Oh no. So WRD cannot finish with a odd time of his timer. Oh no.
Wait, no, he's gonna he's gonna get more with the blo with the bricks, right? Okay. <sighs> oh, WRD got high pattern first. Okay, he's looking for low pattern. He's looking for low. WRD gonna get... No, come on! The stars just won't align for WRD at all. They just they just don't want to. Sometimes Mario 3 is just against everything. No, you can screen scroll, you... You freaking frig! That's two screen scrolls today that we could have uh, avoided. But he had extra music boxes, so it's okay. He had extra music boxes, so it's okay. Oh, come on, Peaks. No, you should call them Pweeks. We should combine it, the Pweeks. Oh no, Teeks is 7-1 is acting up again. WRD gonna go for first try wall jump. Come on, stars. Come on. Oh, he had the pixel. He messed up the A press. Damn. Come on, you'll get it. Don't get punished! Don't get punished! Nah, he's good, he's good. Dude, WRD with the 99 coins, he's just way too close. No bumps yet! Very nice. All right, Teeks is gonna go for the 180 Schmadies. 183s. Nah, no floor clip for WRD, unfortunately. Teeks is gonna hit up the 183. Very nice, gonna go for first try clip here. Ah, his biggest obstacle is his himself. He had the right sub pixels, I bet. Yeah, the clip's not working very well. WRD getting through world six here. Um, yeah, he got an extra star. He didn't get high and low. He didn't have the leap. Didn't get wall jump first try or floor clip. A rough world six for WRD right there. Moving on to world seven. Teeks has not clipped or bumped yet. Uh, but I do want to know from chat, when we finish up the races tonight, who are we going to host? The winner or the loser of tonight's matchup? 
or today's matchup. It's not nighttime. But who should it, it, it's up to chat. Who should we host? Winner or loser? We can't host both. <sighs> we can't host both. Ba 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 ba. Oh, Teeks, come on! Get it together! See, I normally think hosting the loser because the winner still gets showtime and screen time and more opportunities. The loser has to walk away kind of thing. Oh, WRD almost gets it. And Teek's just being absolutely ruthless with his movement there. Do you guys think that he bumped already? Nice, much better, much better hammer suit strats for Teeks. Very nice. Everyone's saying, oh, now when you put it that way. Yeah, that makes sense. Did, did Teeks bump? I don't think he's bumped on the overworld. Nice. WRD getting through 7-1. Checking out his inventory. It's pronounced Pweeks. That's right. We got to combo it. Don't bump for the Teeksers. Very nice. 17. Oh, WRD, what's he doing here? Oh, he's going for the clip! Now, the question is, is WRD gonna get wall to pipe? You can definitely get wall to pipe here. He's duck jumping a little too late here. Also, Trash Panda, you're, I forgot to tell you, your race, um, there was two instances where you would have gotten the clip, but you kept holding the down input. Freaking Trash Panda. I just remembered that because I think you also went down there as well, didn't you? On the second race. You got to... You gotta take your thumb, Trash Panda, and bring it right close to your eye, and you just gotta start yelling at it. You better listen here, Mr. Thumb. Yeah, I have important races to do. Okay. You better listen here, Mr. Thumb. All right, not getting punished. I love to see it. All right, WRD, come on, man, let's go. All right, he's got the good setup. He's got the P speed. Nice, dude, that's what I'm talking about. That's how it should be. Uh, I don't know what Teeks is on pace for. Yeah, Teeks is on pace for another sub 54. Oh no. Oh no. We could be here a while and that's not even WRD's fault. That's just tail clip is very difficult. I think he forgot to take damage. I was mentioned in a game theory video a couple months ago. That's right. The funny, the funniest thing about that game theory video was it, they talked about the sun. They talked about the sun in Super Mario Brothers 3. And like halfway through the video, he said a comment about, now if there was two suns in the game, then blah, 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 blah. But there is two suns in the game. So that, that, was a, that was an unfortunate thing when it comes to like the theorists who are doing these things. And I think he's, I think he's um, associated with uh, 
with uh, Matt, right? What's his name? Matt, who does the film theory and did some of the game theory stuff? Matt Pat or something? Matt Pat, yeah. And uh, yeah, in the in the game theory for Mario 3, he's, yeah, they, they talked about there being two sons, and there is, in fact, two sons in this game. So that was a little bit of a mess up. But I liked the video regardless. It was good. Should he take damage? He can't take damage, right? Once you enter these levels... Oh, forgetting how this level works. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's been so long, right? It's been so long. No, no, you're forgetting. No, you're not. I mean, you could take this. That will work, but that's, that's definitely not how you're supposed to do it. But that's fine. That still works. I'll, I'll accept it. I'll take it. You know what? I bet this is still pretty fun for WRD. It's not often that you do this level, so when you're forced to do it, I mean, at least you can enjoy it. It's it's kind of like a new level. It's like a ROM hack. You have to figure out how to do another level. I mean, nobody plays this level. You either P-Wing this level or you clip, right? That's like DLC. All right, Teeks is going for the clips. Or sorry, going for the hands. WRD is going for the clips. Oh, Teeks gets hand one always. I can just hear Teeks now. Fuck off, hands. He always says that. He always he always swears at the hands. I I don't know how runners. Ah uh, man, I don't know how anyone gets mad at the hands and how some people don't get mad at the Hammer Brothers. I think that's it for Teeks' 54, sub-54, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I never, like, I never get mad at the hands. But I get mad at the Hammer Brothers. And some runners are the other way around, who don't get mad at the Hammer Brothers, but get mad at the hands, and just like, I don't know how. The Hammer Brothers are just so irritating for me. They're like little flies, man, that you just can't get. They're just so annoying. <laughs> all three! Yeah, I, Booba, I, I get mad at all three. Okay. Oh, WRD, no! Oh, you got stuck in the thing. Oh my gosh, that was all scary. That was all way too scary. All right. Teeks is going for the combo points. Um, No bumps as well, though, for WRD. That's right, no bumps. And Teeks obviously not using his lifeline after that first game.
Man, if Teeks got no hands or one hand and got sub 54, he would have taken the record for most points in two games from Feropen by one point. Feropen got what, 22 or 42 points, right? Uh, Teeks is on, Teeks was on pace for 43 points. Well, actually, if Teeks uses his lifeline, he will get it. No, somebody, no, no, no. Somebody got 40, 40, what? 41 or 42 points. Who got in the, the 40s for two games? Booba got 40. Oh, for open got 37, that's right. Booba got 40 points? Ah. Just like that. Teeks got 289, 291, and conveyor piece speed. Does that mean Teeks has most points now? 41? What? Yeah, floor clip is too pog. This is ridiculous. WRD Doe does make it to World 8. And he's in here nice and tight. He's gonna get he's gonna get a couple minutes of his own screen time, which I think is awesome. Teeks does not need elevator clip, does he? Does he actually? WRD did. I'm definitely not questioning how how well any of the runners do. I think they all do great, no matter how bad they actually physically play. I still think they do great. What are you doing? Okay, that was not great, WRD. That was not great. But I'll let it slide, I guess. Playing basketball with the bombs and then taking losing hammer suit. Yeah, Teeks unfortunately cannot get sub 54 here. Or else Teek would, Teeks would walk away with a solid 43 points. But it looks like Teeks is going to take the record for most points in two matches. He's going to beat Ibuba by one point. 41 points, the new record. All depends, though. Hopefully, Teeks gets his down input here. All right, WRD hitting up the Navy. Oh, he does get the down input. Okay, he's in there. Some of these, some of these high point runners are now starting to sweat a little bit. They forgot Teeks was in the tournament. That's right. Wow. Wow. Teeks for getting the dot done. Uh, Teeks forgot to press dot done. I'm not sure what that was about. All right, I want to see. Hey, I switched audio. Take it easy. You gotta yell at me. I switched it before you even said. Uh, where where tweet where Teeks go? He's not messaging in the Discord. Teeks, you got a dot done, you little you little shit. Too busy dicking around. Too busy dicking around. No hands. 
Did he just get no hands? Oh my god, man. Why? There's so... There's... That's three no hands today. That's... That's three no hands today, isn't it? Rancor got no hands two times in a row. And then WRD got no hands. Okay, so whoever's on the right side of the screen gets no hands all the time. So I have a lot of power in who wins and who loses. Wow, so many no hands today. So many no hands today. Come on, WRD, you got this, bro. Nice. Keep it, keep it, keep it. Yeah. Yeah. No more turnbacks. No, I don't think he's going to make it. Ah, crap. Ah, dang it. Nice, he does make the gap, though. That's important. Making the gap, man. WRD has two minutes. Uh, we would not give him a forfeit if he stopped after this fortress, because it's just... Auto scrollers. He, he he has enough time to make it into Bowser's castle before the one hour mark. It does not get conveyor P speed, unfortunately. Uh, so 41 to 19. Oh, wait, hold on. 41 to 18. Sorry. Hey, at least WRD showing consistency. Yeah, I think everyone did great. I think give your guys, the viewers, you guys, yourselves a pat on the back as well. The viewers, you guys are awesome. The runners are awesome. I mean, I'm okay, I guess. Uh, but you guys are all better than me, so. Oh, that's right. He's not going to... That's right. No, it should... Uh... Uh, 16. That's right, it's gonna be 16. Because you get, you get awarded for getting under 60. So he doesn't get that one award, and then he gets punished. Which, I think I should change for next season. I think for season four, I'm going to change it exactly the same way as the deaths, right? So you just don't get an extra point for 60 instead of minusing a point for over 60. But I don't know. You should get punished for not getting 60, right? And there it is. The run has ended. WRD might as well finish, though. He is finished right there. Um, so if he died right now or, or anything, it wouldn't count. So what, is, so what is the rule, guys, against what if Teeks didn't press, like, what if Teeks got a 53-56, but then he didn't press dot done because he was dicking around until, he didn't dot done until, like, 54-something. 
I mean, if you were on a website and didn't do dot done, it would log you in as when you dot done. What do we say about that? What's what's the rules there? That would be pretty rough. Ooh, nice kill. We are not as harsh here. Yeah, I don't think I'd be harsh. That harsh. I don't think I'd do that. Yo, GGWRD get the Bowser kill. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Let's go. I just type in chat, best of three. Um. So what does it looks like? 16 to 41. What did I call them? Tweaks? All right, WRD got, has to go offline, but Teeks is gonna stay online. So go give Teeks a massive congratulations. Go give Teeks a massive congratulations. Thank you guys so much. And don't forget to type exclamation tournament and save the calendar, guys. Save the calendar so you don't miss the next races because now it is top eight. Now it is top eight. It's going to be crazy.